Big news, big story. Big story, that's what we call it, right? Good news, actually, and it is good news. There's something new to argue about when it comes to COVID. So for all of you tired of bickering over masks and mandates and lockdowns, we introduce vaccine passports because fighting over Thanksgiving parties is so last season. And just like all of those other topics, you were probably introduced to vaccine passports in a Facebook post shared by your uncle who can't stop saying things like, why is it okay to say British variant, but not to say China virus? Because British people aren't being assaulted in the streets, Uncle Steve. But before you go off in the comment sections, let's talk about this latest COVID controversy. Here's Kristen Severance. Claim number three. First, we spent months debunking misinformation about COVID. We can verify that everything in this post is just not true. Then masks. We can verify the claims that masks are causing carbon dioxide poisoning or toxicity are false. Now it's vaccine passports. Vaccine passports are a digital or paper record showing you've had the COVID vaccine used when traveling. China has one that uses a QR code. A digital version is being used in the EU. Vaccine passports are not being used in the U.S., but international travelers do currently use something called a yellow card to show that they've been immunized against diseases like yellow fever. While President Biden has assembled a task force to look into digital vaccine certificates, he said these would be left to the private sector and the system would not be maintained by the government. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said last week there will be, quote, no federal mandate requiring everyone to obtain a single vaccination credential. Dr. Anthony Fauci said the same thing this week. But misinformation about a federally mandated vaccine passport system persists. I think the, the main kind of misinformation we're seeing is a lack of good information. Daniel Acosta Ramos is an investigative researcher with First Draft, an organization that analyzes and tries to stop misinformation. He said there are several narratives out there about vaccine passports. One, a real lack of context about what they are. There is something lacking, and it's the fact that vaccine passports has been around for quite some time. I have mine here. It's just a yellow card in which you can have all the vaccinations you can have. He said the second narrative has to deal with the, quote, end of times. It's basically a direct connection between this vaccine passport and uh, apocalyptic slash religious um, narrative. He said the vaccine passport as a start to the end of the world is being spread by QAnon and their supporters, like so, Republican Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia. Today, is this something like Biden's mark of the beast? Because that is really disturbing and um, not good. So in both cases, we're seeing that as the misinformation starts in closed spaces and then goes to more public spaces. And the third narrative is that passports will be federally mandated. Mike Pompeo tweeted, requiring Americans to show a vaccine passport is outrageous and un-American. Republican Senator Rand Paul wrote an op-ed for The Hill with the title, We Must Resist the Latest COVID-Era Power Grab, the Vaccine Passport. And Republican governors like Greg Abbott of Texas and Ron DeSantis of Florida are banning vaccine passports in their states. It actually, it, it validates in some way the rhetoric or even some of the misinformation that's out there already. Jason Malika teaches social and digital media analytics at American University. He said when politicians ban something that doesn't exist, like a federally mandated passport, it really fuels the misinformation wildfire. That basically says we're taking the information that someone said that wasn't really necessarily filled with truth and basically said, yep, that's true. And that's where people get confused, but that's also where the line starts to be divided between Republicans, Democrats, or vaxxers, anti-vaxxers, or even governors that feel that it would be good to have these passports if they were ever put into effect or not. Bottom line, while some private businesses may end up requiring proof of vaccination, there is no federally mandated COVID vaccination passport system in the works.
Okay, Kristen, now while the federal government isn't mandating this, it doesn't mean that no one will ever require you to prove you've been vaccinated. Right, like a private business or, you know, an event center. Right now in New York State, they have something called the Elixir Pass. It's this voluntary system where you can upload your paperwork and, you know, be able to show an event center or anyone else if they request that you prove that you had the COVID-19, you know, vaccination. The bottom line, our story was talking about this federally mandated system that would be required and maintained by the government. President Biden said that is not in the works and that will not be happening here in the U.S. Do you have a question about vaccine passports or anything else? Just let us know. Use that hashtag. Hey, Dan.